Hello, I'm Keith Hilson with the Schmidt Music Trombone Shop back with another instrument review for you. And today I've got one of the newest additions to our trombone shop, specifically one of the S.E. Shire's custom alto trombones, their TBALT GM uh, setup here. We've had, of course, their tenor trombones, their bass trombones in the shop for a number of years. And we've had even a couple of their Q-series altos in, but what we have not had is any of their custom altos. I've been excited excitedly awaiting this instrument to arrive and it certainly I think lived up to my expectations here so I'm really excited to share this with you um, but of course I'm going to take a play so you can hear it in action I'm going to be playing all of this today on my S.E. Shire's Michael Davis Plus mouthpiece <laughs> As I mentioned, we've had the S.E. Shire's custom tenor trombones, bass trombone in the shop for years. They're one of the staples for us in the shop here. And we, of course, have you know, absolutely love the experience with them. We just haven't had the opportunity to bring in their altos as much. Of course, alto trombone traffic tends to be a little bit lighter in the shop in general. But when we had the chance, I really jumped at bringing in one of their custom offerings. Again, we've had a couple of their Q-series in. They've been great playing instruments in their own right. but we, as we always talk about, kind of for the right player, that custom level instrument brings a little bit different level of nuance. And I think this instrument is a really great example of why that is. So again, this is one of their TBALT GM alto trombones. So that means that it has a one of their A1 uh, GM bells. Um, so that is their, uh, it's a two piece bell soldered rim um, in gold brass, medium weight. A little bit interesting for an alto design. We'll talk about that in a second. But this also gets their T8 treatment. So there's a little, a little bit different annealing, one of those special sauce treatments that people like Shires and Edwards and others will do. They won't tell you exactly how it's done, but it definitely gives the instrument a little bit different resonance, a little bit different projection, etc. So we have that combined with one of their A8995 hand slides uh, with lightweight nickel silver outer tubes on nickel silver crook here. Um, and one of the things that's a little bit different from some of the earlier Shire's custom designs, tuning and bells. So this has got a yellow brass a tuning slide here. The original SC Shire's designs were tuning and slide. We've talked about tuning and slide before, what some of the advantages are with it and potentially some of the drawbacks. And I think that was what a lot of people's experiences were with the Shire's custom altos. You know, with that tuning and slide there and the ability to make the entire bell section conical, it did give them a really great blow, you know, obviously different than a lot of other altos out there, but 
it potentially caused some issues as well, whether we're talking about just the overall weight of the hand slide or to a certain point they're not that that tuning and slide setup with that super conical bell section doesn't always work for everybody. There is a, even when we're talking about a reverse tuning slide here, there is a certain amount of compression that we get just from having these, uh, these inline uh, you know, tuning slides here and the ferrules and everything that I felt like maybe the, the tuning slide didn't work for everybody. So I was really excited when they introduced the Bell tuning and Bell instead. That's the model that we went with. I'm kind of glad I did. I really like the setup here. So what is going on with this instrument? The first thing that really struck me as a player is how much feedback I get from this instrument. That's not always something I experienced with alto trombone because of so often the size of the bell, I mean, seven inches about the limit. A lot of times they're a little bit smaller. Um, because very often of the gauge of the material, um, they're not always super lightweight, but they're maybe not quite as heavyweight as this. Um, they tend to have a little bit, you know, a little bit smaller, you know, sound profile over there. It tends to have more projection, which means I, as a player, don't always get as much feedback coming back to me. That is really not the case with this instrument. Um, I think owing to that seven inch bell combined with the gold brass and with that medium gauge, um, I can really hear what's going on with this instrument, but at the same time, I can hear the sound just resonating off of the walls here in, as well. So it's really kind of projecting forward and backward in really, really nice ways. And what that does is allows me to hear just how pure the response is and how sol you know, solidified all of the points are with this instrument. The overall slotting of it feels really, really super comfortable. It feels like everything just wants to lock in place really, really easily. Um, it's not, like I said, it's, it's a little bit heavier setup. And so what that means for me is that maybe the articulations aren't quite as just pure and crystal crisp right at the front of it. It doesn't have quite that same lightness that you might get out of other designs, for example, more traditional German setups. But what it does do is, again, it gives you just this, still a beautiful initiation, just a little bit different weight and just the solidity to how everything locks in place and with some really, really beautiful colors. I think that's one of the things Shire's calls out in their description and I think it's absolutely true just the the flexibility and color that you get out of this instrument whether I'm trying to play something like like the Brahms and trying to have just this this peer entrance on that high A this felt really easy to do that or if I really need to lean into it a little bit on something like the uh, like the Berlioz or even the Rhenish and want to have this really, really beautiful floating E flat there or something like the Mozart where I need to have something a little more articulate, a little more technical. It felt exceptionally responsive, a very, very versatile instrument. To me, this comes across as a, again, a little bit more modern alto take. So if you're somebody who's doing a lot of very period specific, you know, solo work or small chamber work, it might be a little overkill, honestly. It doesn't have quite that same lightness and purity that you may be looking for in an alto sound like that. But if we're thinking a little bit more modern conception of the alto trombone, whether again, you're talking solo literature or especially ensemble playing, um, I could see something like this working really beautifully with a mid to frankly, even you know, large you know, orchestra, um, especially if you're paired with the, with the right instruments in the rest of your section, I think it could balance that really well. Uh, like I would say, you know, hopefully give us that really beautiful alto sound while, while still being able to project, being able to carry over you know, the ensemble when you need it to. Um, and a trombone choir, I could see something like this blending beautifully in trombone choir, because again, it can have the lightness when you need it, but when you need to put some power and projection behind this, I think this instrument can really, really handle that. So really, really great instrument. Again, um, nothing as some, that we were are surprised about from SE Shires, but something I'm really, really glad we have in the shop. So if you have any thoughts about what you heard, please leave them in the comments here. We'd love to have your feedback on this, have you as a part of our viewership. Um, if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to our channel and becoming a part of our community. And of course, you can always find the Trombone Shop on Facebook and Instagram. As always, thanks for watching.